here. Truth be told, brother, we need you. That's, That's right. Be on our team, and you live here. So if you come amongst your brothers and learn these scriptures and serve your God, you can bring the information right back to your home and bring, build up the people here. Right. Because right. they know your face. Right. You're a familiar face. Right. But you must stand up as a leader in your community. That's, That's right. right. Read what you got. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You must renew your mind, brother. You must change the things that you've grown accustomed to in this land. We have been following the white man and doing everything that he does. Right. And wonder why we at the bottom of society. Right. How you gonna rule over a man and you doing what he do? Right. It doesn't make any sense. Right. So you must change your mind. Right, read it again. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And what's going to renew our minds? What is it that's going to renew our minds? You need John chapter 8 and verse 32. Yes, sir. John chapter 8 and verse 32. Hey, tell, First, tell these sisters to come sit down. Hey, sisters, how y'all doing? Y'all come over here real quick, sisters. Come sit down for a second. We want to teach y'all a little bit about your history, right? Don't be afraid, sisters. We're just your brothers. We want to teach y'all something. Listen very closely. This is what we're trying to teach you. The book of John. Chapter 8 and verse 32. You know. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. We're out here trying to free your minds, little sisters. Let me ask you a simple question before y'all go away. Do y'all sisters tell me what color Jesus Christ is? What color is he? You don't know. Let me help you out, little sister. But you're going to find out. It's Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. That's right. looks just like you. That's right. Watch this. Read what you got. Revelation chapter 1, verse, verse 14. His head and his hands were white like wool. Now I'm glad you took your hat off, brother. Because I can see white in your hair. And what people on the planet has woolly textured hair? Anybody know? Who has hair like a sheep? Black Say it again, brother. Black people. Black people. That's brother. right. Look at my little brother right here. Step up for me real quick, little brother. <laughs> Come in. You see his hair? You mind if I touch your hair? His hair is just like a sheep. Mm -hmm. This is what we call wool. Right? That's right. Right? And they say this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Hey. And they said he had the same type of hair. That's what? right. Wool hair. Read. And his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. White as snow, meaning that his hair was white. When we get a little older, brother, what starts to happen to our hair? It turns color. That's it turns right. Turns white. And this time, we're talking about Christ having wisdom. His hair gets white when you get a little older. It's deemed that you got a little bit more knowledge on you, right? Watch this, keep reading. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Let me ask you another question. My brother, when you drink a little bit, yes sir, when you drink a little bit, what's happened to the whites of your eyes? Turn red. So Christ drink a little wine. That's right. In moderation, right? Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet like unto fine brass. Little brother, little sister, what color is brass? Brass. 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 With a B. You know? Brown. Brown. My brother. Brown, right? So what is this saying about Jesus Christ? What color was it? Brown. Brown. But how brown? Watch this. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. As if it burned in a furnace. What we just read to you is Jesus Christ. Our Lord and Savior looks very similar to the gentleman that's standing right here. That's right. right. And this is why it's important for you to stand up in your community. Because we are made in the likeness and image of God. Matter of fact, give me that in Genesis. Uh -huh. Genesis 1 and chapter 26. Bring it out. What you're going to understand is when you stand up and you keep the laws of God, right. we look just like him. Right. We were made in his image. So if we're made in his image and we're following his ways, we show our people exactly how to conduct themselves. Right. right. Read what you got. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image. Man and woman. In our image. Just a man in his image, right? Read. 
Let us make man in our image after our likeness. After our likeness. Not only do we look like him, when we keep in his laws, we act like him. Right. Read. And let them have dominion over the fish of the seas and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth. What you just read is we are supposed to be ruling this planet. That's right. This is why it's important, brother, for you to understand and learn these commandments. Because we got to take back rulership. Right. You don't believe that we're supposed to be ruling the planet? Let's prove it to you. Go to 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and verse 54. This entire planet, brothers and sisters, believe it or not, was made for our sakes. Right. That's right. God did not make this planet for other people. Right. But just like parents, when their kids are disobedient, they must discipline them. Our God had to take the planet from us as punishment right. because of our disobedience. Right. Right. But if we turn back, he will give it back to us. Right. Right. Read what you got. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou made as Lord of all thy creatures. Adam, what we read in Genesis, was made Lord of everything on this planet Earth. Right. He was the unadulterated king of the planet. That's hey, right. Read. Of him come we all. Everybody came from him. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. God chosen the children of Israel right. to be special to himself. That's hey. right. You notice the separation. Everybody was made from Adam, right. including the people whom God chose. Right. That's making a difference in a separation amongst the nations. Keep reading. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. No, the white man's sake. For our sakes. The Arab man's sake. For our sakes. The Chinese man's sake. For our sakes. For our sakes a so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. This entire planet was made for us. Right. Right. Read. Right. As for the other people, which also come of Adam. Now let's see what's going, what, what God feels about the other people. Because we all came from Adam. Remember the point. Read. Thou hast said that they are nothing. No, we're all equal. They are nothing. No, he loves them all the same. They are nothing. They are nothing to our God. That's why they don't have the conditions we have. When you kids go out in the street and the street lights come on and you tell your children to be in the house and they don't come in the house, they play with all the other kids. Do you go out and whoop all the children? Or just your child. Just, just your child. That's why God has punished us. Because he don't care about nobody else. Right. Let's prove. Read. But be like unto spittle. Anybody ever spit on the ground? Yes. You spit on the ground? Jeez. You? You? Do you care about that spit after you didn't did it? No. No. It says God has looked at the other nations like they're spit. Right. They don't mean nothing to him. Right. Read. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. A drop from a bucket, my brother. You ever washed your car before? Yeah. Get a bucket of water. Yeah. While you walk in that bucket, a little water. drop spill out. Yeah. Yeah. Do you care about that drop that fell? Yeah. No. That's how God feels about the other nation of people. That's right. He do not care about them. Right. Go back to Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. I want to hammer home this point. How much God loves us. So you can, can understand your conditions. We're going to also show you how to change those things. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Holy means set apart, special, different. He said thou art in holy people unto him. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. That, here go that chosen word again. He chose us to be special to himself. We not like other people. They not like us. Right. We not like them. Right. We are a special people unto the Lord, our God. That's right. Read above 
all people. Below. Above all people. No, equal to. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. It says above all people on the face of the earth. That's right. My brother, what does that mean? What does it mean that we're special above all people of the earth? Uh, our color. Uh, not just our color, our nation of people. Right. God placed his spirit upon us right. when we keep his laws. Right. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. But there's something that we must do. There's something that we're missing. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? What do God require of us? Now that we know we're his special people, what must we do to prove to him that we love him? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. When you whoop your children, you put a sense of fear into them that they must do what you say. We must do what our God says. It's not an option. We got to fear him and do what? To walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God. Keep reading. With all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments. To do what? To keep the commandments. And this is what we came out here to show our brothers and sisters tonight. That we must keep the commandments of our God in order to change our conditions. If we're not keeping God's commandments, we don't love him. Right. We are shown to be liars and disobedient children. Right. And we will remain in this state. We got to change that. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. His word, his word. <laughs>